Yeah. So tell me about her and what makes her so fascinating. She, she had Robert Dudley's love child. That that is right. the one that um you know that really is what gets a lot of people. Um, and she was the daughter of Charles. Ha she was part of the family on the Howard side. She was um, Effingham's daughter and um, the sister of Effingham's son who became the, the Earl of Nottingham. I'm sorry, it's all like Sure. down and and over but um she was they were all kind of cousins her. right everybody seems to be a cousin of everybody else elizabeth was really good about bringing family members in with her because when she's looking for people to trust the people who were nice to her when nothing when when they couldn't benefit from it are the people she trusted and she then trusted their children so okay um oh so she trusted my Douglas. Yeah. Sorry, go on. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just like, um, Douglas Sheffield is the one we hear little bits and, and stories about how um, um, when Elizabeth first came to the throne, she would sneak out and go watch Robert Dudley play tennis in his shirt sleeves. And she would do this with her ladies in waiting disguised. And there were two ladies in waiting. She did this with specifically, and that was Douglas Howard and Litzy Snellis. So okay, so bad. <laughs> what are the odds? But so okay. Okay, so who is so who is she other than just having had Robert Dudley's love child? Because okay. So she came to court when she was 18. Um, her father, there was no way that she was not going to get brought to court because she was a Howard. Her father had helped Elizabeth a lot um, in the days leading up to the throne and would go on to help Elizabeth a lot as Lord Admiral of England. Um, she showed up at 18, beautiful young woman, and uh, married, very good marriage, Baron Sheffield. And... Um, they had a couple of children, and um, then she retired from the court. She came back, had the affair with Robert Dudley. That kind of didn't work out. And then she ended up marrying, still in the family, uh, the uh, <laughs> Stafford. So you had Mary Boleyn's um, die. Mary Boleyn's husband married again after that to Dorothy Stafford. Dorothy became Elizabeth's mistress of the robes and her son then married Douglas in um, like 1579. So, and then they went off to live in France and he was accused of spying. I mean, it, it's all just, it's incredible stories that just like come in from all of the little interconnections that- Who was he spying for? Her. Who was he accused with, of spying for the French or for, was he accused of spying for the French or for the English? He was accused the of spying for the French. He was okay. accused of spying for the French. Yeah, I know. That's so good. I know. And in fact, Cecil would feed him. They kind of tested him a couple of times. They fed him a couple of stories that were not exactly true. And those stories came out. And so it's like, boom, there you go. There you go. All right. So. A quick Google of her reveals some interesting things, uh, including a rumor about poisoning her husband. Uh, I don't know. I love your she... face. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me just say that I don't know if she was the one accused of, of poisoning her husband or if it was Robert Dudley accused of poisoning her husband. And Robert Dudley was accused of poisoning so many people. Every time you turn around, Robert Dudley was there with a little thing of poison in his hand. He was accused of, of poisoning Douglas's husband so that he could have the affair. Don't believe that because mm -hmm. uh, it, you look at the proof in the pudding, he did not want Douglas's husband to die so that he could marry Douglas because he never married Douglas. We can get into that in a minute. Um, Latisse's husband, he didn't po he didn't poison Latisse's husband, although Robert De uh, Walter Devereux said he did. 
<laughs> Hidden poison Nicholas Throckmorton, who ate salad at his home and then started throwing up and died a couple of days later. I mean, every time you turn around, Robert Dudley is killing somebody, throwing his wife down the stairs. <laughs> you name it, Robert Dudley killed them. <laughs> right. Wow. He was busy. Um, yes. So how did this affair start that may or may not have ended in poison? Um, Douglas came back to court after her husband's death mm -hmm. and um, they just started up and we don't really know a lot about it because they tried to keep it secret, obviously. Um, at one point, we're not sure if her sister, Frances Howard, also had a full-on affair with Robert Dudley, but they were both kind of fighting over him at the same time while Douglas's affair was going on. Um, and uh, we do know that the real reason we know they had the affair is because she had his child. And um, one of the ways they probably met, well, obviously they met at court, but there were more like fun little things. When her husband died, um, it was customary for um, heirs to, it, they, they became wards of England and they were given to somebody else to manage essentially. And Robert Dudley was the ward of Douglas Sheffield's son. Okay. Before they started their affair and before, and later on, um, Robert Dudley would take over their son his his and Douglas Sheffield's um little Robert Dudley <laughs> little Robert went to live with big Robert when okay. he was about three years old and just kind of was was brought up by Robert Dudley and how we, and was, okay I I just want to ask how like this might be an obvious silly question but I was taught there's no stupid questions so I'm just like how do we know it was his child before DNA testing like did he claim it claim the child yes. or like how? okay he, he was did. very proud of the child this was so Robert Dudley wanted to get married Robert Dudley wanted kids okay he was really yeah. good with kids and you know for all the poisoning stuff people also admit that he was really good with kids um, he wanted a son to pass everything on to, and that is not something that he was ever able to have. So um, there was some talk about whether they would get married because he had a son. He could have the heir. Um, but there is this wonderful letter that we have that basic, where he basically says, I can't marry you. I cannot marry you without completely undoing yourself. There are still people who think they were married, though. Mm -hmm. there but right was there an idea that there was like a, a secret marriage or something like that there was an argument that there was a secret marriage mm -hmm. um that that came out after Robert Dudley died after Elizabeth died after all of that and the reason that came out was because um with Robert Dudley not having any direct heirs himself, um, the, if the little Robert, which there, there's so many little Roberts coming, anyway, if little Robert was legitimate, he would be entitled to the Lester earldom and he would be entitled to a bunch of other things. So he went to court and said, yes, they were married. And there was an entire trial, and were they or weren't they? And the answer was found that no, they weren't. So, okay. um, which which makes a lot of sense because Robert Dudley married Latisse Nullis the year later. So clearly, he didn't think that he was a bigamist. 